We are Cactus Wrestling. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. I was press conference. Tom Brands, man. He, he has he, set the he record straight. A, a, he does a great conference. He does a great. He, he always makes it interesting. Yeah, he does. Oh, man. So um, biggest news. Well, some may find it the biggest news. A uh, reporter flat out asked him, "Are you uh, are you adding any roster slots and brands in typical brands fashion? Be more specific. Ask the specific question." <laughs> he, then he asks like the exact same question, and then brands yeah. answers. He wanted him to say Ferrari's name, but yeah, reporter didn't. He was like, "You've been in this business too long. You know the answer. You know the answer." <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, no. At this time, he did clarify that, though. He goes, we do That's not... True. He didn't specify. Have... At this time, no. Yeah, he goes, uh, we do not have any wrestlers joining the roster for second semester at this time. Anything so, can change. Anything can change. So, you know, AJ and Anthony, are they going to join Iowa? Um, who knows still? And I, I don't think that even the team knows. I'm sure Glazier's not really like, oh, darn. <laughs> Well, well everything I mean, that we've been hearing about the situation, including AJ's uh, interview with Cla him, Clash yeah. of Combat, um, made it sound like the fans at Iowa hate him and that he doesn't feel all too welcome there. Yeah. Despite yeah. his brothers wanting to commit there. Yeah, and but I mean, also... he's still. Yeah, go ahead. I would say he's still training in Iowa, though. Um. At the RTC. Them up. Yeah, he's still in the RTC, he says. Um, he's training, you know, see him in the in their weight room. Um, and then he even mentioned on the uh, Clash of Combat that he has an Olympic red shirt he could take if he wants to. Convenient. Yeah. <laughs> he took, you know, he but was that works out that way. That is, oh yeah, let me use this uh thing I did so many years ago as a way to get into the Olympic trials. Bronze medal know. at twenty eighteen cadet worlds at 92 kilo I and mean, it was six years ago he's wrestled two freestyle matches since then we're at the you know it's amazing place. that something that far off yeah still I, qualifies you i always just thought it was going to be you know each olympic cycle you know every four years I and mean, that would make sense versus a guy that no, no he can now forever go to yeah. the Olympic trials potentially i mean that's what it sounds like which is yeah that's wild that, that if that's the case i i don't know the rules on that so for Iowa fans out there, it's not looking too optimistic that the Ferrari clan will actually end up at Iowa. Which and isn't exactly a bad thing because yeah, it Andy might be for the best. Did lose to Rathkin. So like yeah. he lost and then Glacier gave overtime. him an overtime match. So it's like they're not really it's not like a severe loss there. Yeah. Considering how that the performances that they did at the Soldier Salute, we'll we'll see what happens. Brands also talked about um, options for some other weight classes, including 174. Uh, he mentioned Gabe Arnold's name, so there is a possibility that they pull his red shirt. I mean, I'm I really want to see him wrestle Carter. <laughs> I don't know after Carter, you know, kind of tooled on Whitlake, you know, checking him. I'm like man, that was surprising. I I was yeah. I didn't think he would tech him. Like he's been kind of beating up a lot of guys. I mean, he almost teched, you know, Mile, um, Mackay Lewis. Yeah, Mackay. Yeah. So, yeah, he he definitely seems to be trying to separate himself this season. As previous seasons, he really didn't. Yeah, but what would you rather uh, see? What would you rather see? Sirachi versus uh, Gabe Arnold or Sirachi versus Pat Kennedy? Gabe Arnold. It's the match we all want to see. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'd definitely especially, rather see Gabe Arnold because Pat Kennedy would probably get tacked. Especially when, you know, he was he's, talking about him in high school. I'm sure, you know, it's the same thing as Danelle Washington where he's like, I'll never forget this moment. Yeah. You know, the rest of your life, like, I'll be there. Hey, Danelle Washington is at 174, so Carter yeah. could get round three. Carter could get his dream where he's like, I get to wrestle – um, Danelle Washington and uh, Gabe Arnold potentially at Big Ten in the same day. I could beat them both. 
Like he's like, this is like Christmas for me. I mean, he <laughs> Carter being the vindictive guy that he is, he's like, oh, you know, I'll never let this go. Yeah, well, I mean, at the moment, it doesn't sound like Gabe Arnold's going to be the guy, but it sounds like they they might they might pull it. Yeah. Uh, well, but, what about another freshman who's yes. now done with football, Ben Keeter? I, I think he's going to get slotted in because, like, I mean, I know in the thing, Brands was like, yeah, but we, you, you're not, you're forgetting Bradley Hill. And it's like, yeah, but Bradley yeah. really hasn't been the most impressive guy there. Like, he's, he's been filling the weights so that you don't forfeit. But, like, when he's, he's going against anyone ranked, he doesn't, he doesn't, wrestle to a competitive nature that he's in the match to win it so yeah i mean uh you know bradley hill is not even ranked in any of the collegiate rankings um which is not like a typical iowa guy so although he's you know kind of held down the weight class for them i don't think that he's their best option and they're going to be looking to trade up come you know postseason and keeter can be that guy for them this friday could be a prime uh Prime prime matchup when they wrestle against Nebraska. I mean, talk about a great story. Two two football players uh, at heavyweight, Ben Keeter versus Nash Hutmaker of Nebraska. The polar bear. The I, polar I, bear. I hope that they number yeah. one recruit heavyweight out of high school, 166 and 0. This guy is an animal. I really Besides, hope that junior year you know, of college. It, yeah. I, I, I really I hope Keeter and Hutch wrestle. I hope they do. It would be awesome, especially if it's like a match deciding, you know, a match that decides the duel, where they have to, Iowa has to play him, and you know, Nebraska has to play him, and they go, "Hey guys, like we're, you know, it's not Bradley Hill, it's we're sending Keeter, and we got to send out, you know, Nash," and yeah. that would be I, awesome. I hope that uh, when they televise it, they put the polar bear as uh, his photo instead of his face. <laughs> that'd be that'd be epic. Who who do you guys think is going to win that duel? I I still think Iowa's going to win. I I'm, honestly I think Nebraska's going to win the duel. Like they they it it's it, it's going to be a tight duel. Like it's going to come down to the, the final match. It's going to come down to that heavyweight bout. And I, I think Nebraska can do it. I think it. I mean, depends I did think Iowa on State. the line of Iowa puts out. If you have Keeter and you have Gabe Arnold. That's going to help them a ton versus if they don't have them. Well, I mean, I think Pat Kennedy's favored to win. I think he he majored uh, what's his face the last time they wrestled at seventy four, uh, Bubba. Mm. So I'm pretty sure that uh, they don't need favored Keith. regardless. I don't even think that they need Gabe they Arnold in the lineup to win that matchup. But at heavyweight, I don't see Bradley yeah. beating Nash. I and th there's some pretty solid matchups here that at uh, in this duel for uh, like Caleb Smith, Drake Ayala to start things off. Like Drake Ayala has beaten Caleb Smith a year ago. Like he's one to zero against him, and he just had that big win. Like and <laughs> Caleb Smith keeps losing to Volk. So, I mean, it could be Ayala's time to even, like, separate himself a, a little bit more, like, that he's more definitively in closer to the top than everyone that gets to the top and then flies down the rankings. Well, at 125, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I mean at that weight. But um, I don't know, though. I think, I think people underestimate Iowa's uh, strength. And just their consistency and guys. We definitely thought Iowa State was going to take them, and Iowa State managed to fumble we, it pretty well. We, yes. the majority we. There was. I don't think I was one of us that we. thought that Iowa State was going to win. <laughs> the collective, the collective, the collective cactus Cerberus. Yeah, the, the, yeah. The three-headed cactus thought that. Uh, Iowa State was going to win that duel, but now you can have the nightmares of the three-headed cactus. Um, I'm looking forward to real words versus Brock Hardy. That's going to be one I mean, of the I'll best matchups. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be a close matchup. And, and even though I know their most recent matchup was that 11 to one at 
the NCAAs, but I don't. I think it's going to be closer to the the two one six four original matchups that they had. Like, it's going to be tough. I, mean, I Woods will probably win it, but I think it'll be like a pretty, pretty close scoring match. Only a one or two point difference. Where do you yeah. think? Where do you think I was going to land at NCAA's this year? Not to jump topics. Fourth. I was going to say top five. That's still pretty good. Like it's still yeah. It's like it's crazy. Like oh, Iowa, their their fall off is like still better than like some teams have ever dreamed of. Yeah, like oh yeah, highest finish ever for the program is fourth. Iowa, we had a bad year. We finished fourth. <laughs> like, I mean, you know, Jared Frannick's undefeated at fifty seven. Fifty seven could be well, and he's traded right. matches. That's going to be a, a, one of the like marquee matchups. He's traded matches with Peyton Rob. Yeah. Oh yeah. One was in overtime, and then the other was seven four. But like, the most recent one was the Frantic's loss. So, and Peyton, Peyton Rob's been looking pretty good, other than that loss. Well, I would say Peyton Rob looking to bounce back after the lot, recent loss. I think he's going to be up for maybe he overlooked that opponent. Um, I don't think he's going to be overlooking Frantic. And okay. since he's wrestled him twice, he is familiar with what he's got. I mean, they're both familiar with each other. Um, that 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 went that one's basically a, a pick 'em. Like it could go either way. Um I mean, I guess Jack's probably picking Frannick. Uh can't can't go against his I, I have his no book. reason not to. I mean, he's undefeated. But he's lost to Peyton Robb before. Not this year. Okay, well, Peyton Rob hasn't lost a frantic this year, so Peyton Rob just got upset by. Um, that is true. That is um, true. Yeah, Northern Iowa. Yep. Yeah, but I still I I favor Rob. Mike that. loves the upsets. Loves them. <laughs> Can't get enough of them. I almost wonder if they'll. If, I mean, jump skipping way ahead. If Lenny Pinto will end up wrestling against Gabe Arnold at one eighty four. Instead of Aiden Riggins. There's no way. I don't think they're going to bump Gabe, Ar- Gabe Arnold again. I mean, he did pretty well last time he went up to 184. Knocked That's off an all star. Yeah, but didn't That's he say true. on Twitter that was a one-time thing? He did say it was a one-time thing. Yeah, but... And it was like the day of. Like, yeah, I think if they told him in advance, I don't know. Yeah, if they told him in advance, I don't think he would do it, though. Like, I don't think he would be... Yeah, I'm, because he said he's like I'm. I'm like five ten. I'm not tall enough to be, um, one eighty four. I mean, if the duel's in jeopardy, yeah, if the duel's in jeopardy, they might be like, "Yo, Gabe," or they'll be like, "Kennedy, you're gonna go against Pinto." <laughs> I know you wrestled sixty five at the Soldier Salute, but we're gonna have you eighty four for this one. Do it for the team. I mean, it seems like those Iowa guys are, are would do it for the team, so. Yeah. You got Silas Allred, Zach Glazier shouldn't be. I mean, Zach Glazier wrestled Ferrari close, but I think Silas Allred's going to you know, do some pretty good damage there. Hey, returning Big Ten champ. Yeah. That was a tough I, know. I, I feel like Zach Glazier doesn't get enough credit. Like He's he's done a serviceable job. He's undefeated. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's, yeah undefeated. he's undefeated even against AJ Ferrari. So Yeah, no losses. Despite losing the match, he has no losses. So I think he might surprise some people. I mean, I wouldn't say it's outlandish to say, but I, I, my money would be on all red. Like Glazier hasn't, he hasn't had a marquee win yet. Like where against like a really high ranked guy, AJ um, Ferrari, national champion, six sixty five deadlift, baby. Yeah, right. If you could only win all of your matches via the guy getting disqualified, then uh... it's a good strategy. More people should try it. <laughs> that's clearly the, the way to go I mean you just gotta poke the bear yeah poke the bear <laughs> you gotta you gotta poke the polar the bear prickly cactus poke the prickly cactus so uh, yeah let us know your thoughts on Iowa the season the press conference what's gonna happen are they gonna beat Nebraska and then what's yeah, their game plan what's their game plan for the rest of the season are we gonna see Gabe Arnold are we gonna see Ben Keeter we probably will not see the Ferraris, which honestly, probably for the best. 
Well, we're not going to see them against Nebraska at the very least. Probably not. Although, I mean, it is it is entertaining to follow the drama. As someone who loves the drama, <laughs> it's fun to watch. But I mean, it definitely adds some spice to things for sure. So, yeah, let us know in the comments down below. Uh, what do you think is going to happen with Iowa? And as always, thanks for watching Cactus Wrestling. Thanks for watching. We are Cactus Wrestling, and we'll see you next time on our next video.